C Q card starting and That's winning really, form. really impressive. Mm. Uh, now we've done sport. Let's look at the weather then, Alexis. So Storm Angus has gone now, has it? But yes. we're still expecting some pretty bad weather. Absolutely, yeah. Storm Angus disappeared Sunday morning and then it was followed very quickly by a deep area of low pressure, which has given us the heavy rain today and it will turn very windy overnight tonight. The blustery conditions today created large waves in Swanage. This was taken by Jill Richards. And there was a brief glimpse of the sun today in Southampton. This picture was taken by Graham Stark. We had some localised flooding from the really quite torrential rainfall and the ground is very saturated at the moment, so any rainfall could cause localised flooding. Through the course of this week, we'll start with some gusty conditions. The gales are possible, especially on coastal stretches. Rain or showers at times, but turning drier later with a ridge of high pressure building in from the Atlantic. Overnight tonight, the strongest of the winds will be for the Isle of Wight, West Sussex and Hampshire. Here we do have a Met Office yellow wind warning in force with temperatures tonight falling to around 7 to 8 Celsius and some heavy showers dotted about here and there, which could lead to localised flooding and then maybe even some hail and thunder. So the winds will stay brisk tomorrow morning, gradually easing. That Met Office warning is in place until 9 o'clock. And once the winds do start to ease, the showers will ease as well. One or two dotted around through the afternoon and temperatures into double figures along the south coast a high of eight to nine celsius in parts of oxfordshire and berkshire through the course of tomorrow night any showers will tend to ease and we are looking at clearing skies so settling down into wednesday with a ridge of high pressure building in it will be a mainly dry day on wednesday with a fair amount of cloud lows tomorrow night down to around four to five celsius so wednesday will be a mainly cloudy day some brighter spells for the south coast and the southeast first thing in the morning but the cloud will thicken during the course of the day it should stay mainly dry and temperatures will reach a high of 8 to 10 Celsius. So staying dry through Thursday as well, there is the outside chance we could have a shower. But on Thursday, this area of low pressure will bring some stronger winds for the south of the country, despite the high pressure being in charge of our weather. So through Thursday, we may have some gales along the south coast. The Met Office are keeping a close eye on the situation. Friday, the potential we could have some showers. Most places will be dry with a high of 9 to 11 Celsius. And looking ahead to the weekend, well, things settle down. There will be a good deal of cloud, should be mainly dry, and temperatures will be around average. And Jana. Thank you, Alexis. But wet and windy until then. Mm. Right, well, now we need to say an enormous thank you for all the effort that everyone put in for this year's children in need. People dressed up, they baked cakes, they held parties, they met Pudsey. It was a lot of fun, and most importantly, everybody gave a lot of money. The amount raised on Friday night in the South alone was a staggering £3,830,201. And I know that here at South Today, we all ate our body weight in cake, didn't we? <laughs> we did very well. Very good Every day. day. Yeah, well done, everyone. Well, thank you very much for having me, guys, tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.